Good evening, everybody. My name is Chris. And I'm Jack. And we are going places with K&J. We're just a couple of empty nesters enjoying our pre-child lives together and uh, kind post of... Post-child. Huh? Post-child. Oh, yes. Post-child. <laughs> Pre-child. Do you have something to tell me? <laughs> oh, we're, we're done. No, this is post. We are done. Yeah. This well, I'm 51 and she's about five weeks. No, actually like three weeks from being 50. 50. So, no, we are done, pre-child. Oh, boy. Ugh. I'm like, you got something to tell me? Because I don't. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> trust me, that would be a surprise for both of us. And uh, we've had that discussion. It, uh, oh, boy. No, no, no. No more, no Post. more babies. Okay, so. So yeah. we are. Post-child. Post uh, a couple of empty nesters enjoying our post child lives together and um we are go coming to you from oh <laughs> it's like ojo caliente ojo no ojo caliente <laughs> new mexico new mexico which is a hot spring resort honestly in the middle of nowhere um heard from this place i actually did an intro video so heard from this place from a dear friend and a uh, former co-worker named carlene and uh, we finally made it up here and uh, jenny tell everybody about our ex our our experience at ojo caliente it was nice we went to most of the pools okay. i think we we went to five of the seven all right something like so that. so that being said let's kind of so i did not do any videos inside the uh the complex quite honestly it's people more private it's more private people come here to relax people do not come here to you're have supposed to whisper yes very... yeah exactly you're supposed to whisper they they have um like incense uh, like lavender and coriander and and uh there's a, there's constantly a fire going so you get that you know eucalyptus eucalyptus yeah there you go all those <laughs> those fragrances that i don't adhere, adhere to and uh uh so it is uh it's very calm. It's very rustic. You're supposed to uh, whisper. Soothing music. Yes, soothing music. Soothing. Uh, it's, it's literally a spa inside yes. the. So the I know we didn't do any videos in there. So we're kind of trying to describe it. So inside the main compound, uh, I guess you. There's could call multiple it, pools. There are multiple pools, and um, and each one has different healing. We believe to we have different healing um, characteristics. Properties. I guess. Properties. Thank yes. you. So, um, um, like yeah. lithia was for digestive and uh, mood, helping your mood. Yes. My um, mood is still crap, by the way, just, just saying it. So, <laughs> yeah, apparently he doesn't believe, but. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> but uh, there, was, there was one, um, like, that had arsenic, which is supposed to help with digestive and then also blood and circulation there was one that had iron I the soda, iron pool and then the soda pool and there, there were several several pools in total matter of fact there's literally one right outside of our room and so uh, we pretty much hit them all uh, except for a couple of them and, and then there's a very very cold pool <laughs> right they're that, all that we very didn't warm. know before we <laughs> and we're like what is this this is supposed to be hot springs right this, exactly so our that's first a time pool. it's a cooling We're, pool right our first time going onto the complex we uh walked in and we go to the biggest pool there there's not a soul in it, it was like oh cool we got the place for ourselves. jenny stepped inside and realized the water is like what 90 degrees did it say 80 80, 80, 80. degrees and so she's like we're out of here and so we found our way back over to the hot springs and honestly had a very very lovely time and you can rent to private pools so we, which we did we now, rented one yeah. i don't know about you but that was my favorite part yeah that was it was very relaxing because yeah. it's literally uh, a separate area that um looks straight onto the cliff and then but yeah right. it was very private and secluded to discuss to kind of describe what you you go into a main area and then you have to be escorted by a member of staff it does cost extra to do this so you get escorted they open up a door and you have a high wall on either side 
a giant soaking tub that's big enough for like eight people. And it opens up to the back to a, a cliff and a hillside. It's not like a sheer cliff mm -hmm. that's a thousand feet high. But uh, these are the private soaking tubs. It has a fireplace tubs. just like this just behind like us. Just like this behind us. So uh, what's really cool to me about this is these are real wood fires. This is not push a button and a gas fire comes on. This is real wood. And this is right wood. in our room. We and this can is right have in our room. So this is here. what we like. This is what I personally like about it. And then we so. had a private tub. We rented this suite, right. which is a cliffside suite. Which you all saw when we walked in. Now, yeah. um, again, it's so... This is a review, and I, I think we, we both liked it. Yeah. We liked our little tub in the back. There are other rooms that are, are more expensive that actually have a, a nicer outdoor area, and the rooms are significantly bigger. But, you know, we kind of got what was available. I mean, we have two queens, and uh, so, yes, we're all sleeping on our own There's bed. There's one restaurant, so be sure you make reservations right. in advance for dinner. We were able, luckily when we checked in yesterday, we were able to get an eight o'clock dinner reservation. Yes. But today, this morning, we tried to get a reservation. They were already booked for tonight. Yeah. So um, going breakfast and lunch, you don't have to do right. reservations. Go along, going along with what Jenny is saying, um, if you are coming to Ojo Caliente in Ojo Caliente, uh, this is not a resort town. Okay, this is kind of like Ojo Caliente is actually a town. However, it is, um, it's not a resort town. You don't, you're not gonna walk around and hit galleries and little restaurants and little pubs and there's, stuff like this that. This is it. This, this is, is it. There's nothing around What there's, is on the grounds is what you get. I mean, that's what's nice is it's secluded. Yes. But at the same time, it's secluded. So yes. if you don't get reservations and for dinner, there's nowhere around for dinner. We right. literally had to go to the gift shop where they have sandwiches, luckily in the refrigerator, yeah. and chips, and we had pop. But that was that 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 was that our was, dinner. Tonight. That was dinner. <laughs> we had a nice dinner at the restaurant last night because we get a reservation tonight. We couldn't get that. Breakfast so. was fine. I mean, we were able to get right in. You don't need reservations. Right. So so um, so if you're expecting to, like I said, a, a resort town, don't come here. There's another one of these in Santa Fe, I believe. And actually mentioning that, Santa Fe is about a one hour drive. So we actually went there today, got rained out, went to the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum, great. After that, we got rained out. And the town of Española, uh, which we had tacos at, which there's, we're, there's also a video, hopefully you've watched that one too, uh, is about a half an hour away. But um, if, it's, if it's dark, so this is uh, the weekend, the week before Thanksgiving, so it's dark outside, if you're going to drive these roads, they're narrow, mm -hmm. they're windy, and there's going to be animals jumping in front of you, deer, elk, all sorts of things. So um, if you are going to drive to Española or Santa Fe at night, beware, because uh, this is not well-lit streets and all of that. This is a isolated place. And if it rains, place. then it's even worse. Exactly. So, so you want to go during the day. Yes, you definitely want to do go during the day. And as Jenny said, this is it. This is all there is. There's not a town. You can't go up the road and get a, a hamburger. You can't go up the road and go shopping in a little gallery. You are at least an hour away from those kind of things and at least a half an hour away from a town with a Taco Bell. So keep that in mind when coming here and make dinner reservations, especially on weekends. Um, but other than that, I think it's nice because it's, it's secluded. It's awesome. And it's, it's really relaxing. And, right. And, you know, like I said, the grounds are beautiful. The grounds you know? are it's beautiful. Just, so a couple of other things uh, about this, and again, it is rustic. So the grounds are dirt paths. There's not sidewalks and everything else. So one thing I noticed, we tracked a lot of dirt into our room. Be sure to wipe your feet at before the at that door before We've been, you come in. Yeah, it's like, but even even then, it's like we're still getting yes, we still in. got dirt inside it. And this is just a very petty thing for me. The room is nice but basic. I love the fact that we have a real wood fireplace. I already said that, but our bathroom again, it, it's fine. It's clean. It's comfortable. Our shower curtain is about a foot too short. It wasn't. It's like you close it on the one side. It's open on the other. So it's like guys. This place is not cheap. You can go to Walmart and get a $12 shower curtain that goes the full length of the tub. Come on, let, let's show, a, you know, that's my really only criticism of it. 
This is a wonderful place. And uh, Jenny asked me a little while ago, it's like, would I come back? And the answer is yes, I do want to come back here, but mostly because I know you like it. When we first walked here, I'll be really honest, or came walked here, we drove here. It's about a five and a half hour <laughs> we trip. We drove here, but we, yes, were, walking we were walking in. through. <laughs> we go in to check in, and instantly there's people wearing robes everywhere. You, they, you get a robe with your room, because you're gonna be walking around from different hot springs. They give you a towel and they give you a robe, so you're walking around. And I'll, I'll be really honest with you, that unnerved me a little bit, because um, although we are not prudes, we are not the kind of people who are looking for um, uh, these... Extracurricular? Yes, we're not in the lifestyle, so to speak. You know, we're not looking to come up here uh, with other we people or, or, you know, finding... Um, honestly, we're not swingers. We're not into that. <laughs> so, um, and, and, and honestly... This is not. This and, is and this not. is not that at all. And I was a li little bit cautious because I'm like, hold on. And also you wonder, do people have clothes on underneath their robes? Because I didn't know. And everybody did. It's like, oh my gosh, they're taking off their robe. Oh goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So this is not. See that? I didn't even think about that. I was See, just like, everybody's wearing swimsuits. I exactly. Didn't think everybody's about wearing that. swimsuits. But so you're if you were concerned, <laughs> if you're a little bit like me and a little bit on the conservative side. I felt totally comfortable. Yeah. And you were concerned about, uh, somebody taking off the robe and that's all they had on this isn't that kind of place actually i saw a child here today so I, but it's 13 and older it's 13 and older this was not a 13 year old if this was a 13 year old this was a very small they, 13 year old at least not in the pools right okay well this person was in the pool okay but this wow. was a so this was a child but nonetheless am i saying this is family friendly no but people come here because they believe the the, the minerals in this water heals them and this is a great place to come and relax, unwind, as a couple, as a group of friends, whatever. This is a great place just to come and unwind. And trust me, guys, we are not sponsored. We spend our own money. We are not talking this place up because we are paid to. We're getting nothing from this, okay? We have like 150 followers. So like, view, and subscribe, please, 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 so we get more followers. So overall, you yes. know, just kind of sum up, I think that it's definitely worth the money. It is definitely it's worth It's worth coming here. It is definitely worth coming here. Like it's going to cost a little extra if you want to rent a private pool yep. or you know get massages you know, of course all of that stuff's extra yeah. but i think it's definitely worth it yep there's even though it was completely booked we were able to get you know into each hot spring pretty yep. okay we were yep. able to you know find a space for us yep. so and this isn't cheap this isn't this isn't like even the, the hot spring like right out front of our door we were alone in. yes so, so. You know, this is, a, like like Jenny said, this is an awesome place where we, we will be coming back, even though this isn't my kind of thing. But that's the thing about being married. You sometimes do for your spouse stuff you want, don't want to do. And quite honestly, by the second day, I'm kind of used to it. I kind of knew what to expect. So Next I'm, time, I think we want to rent the, the posi suite with, that, with the private excuse me, it knows actual it, sorry. pool. Of, right. So... Uh, hot, like ours is a fillable mineral. Right. It's a it's tub. a bath. It's a it's a kind of a chintzy bathtub out there That's that literally drains mineral. out into the stream behind the the place. So it's a little bit chintzy. It was still nice, but, but next it time comes straight. It's mineral right, water pumped it's, in. It, you, literally, there's a a handle out there that you would see it like a, a trailer park or uh, filling up a cattle trough. But it did its job. So you know, like I said, this place is rustic. It's expensive. It's nice. It did its job, but it's rustic, and that's kind of what I'm into. Yeah. But um, so uh, so no, nope, definitely. I think it's worth the money. It's beautiful. It's isolated, and, and it's very quiet. And we're only like five and a half, six hours yeah. from Denver, so not a big deal. All right, I think we're uh, I think we're about done here. Anything else you want to add? Nope, I think we're good. I'm All right. Good. So for now, my name is Chris. And I'm Jen. And we are a couple of empty nesters. Do us a favor. Uh, hit the notification bill. Like, view, be subscribe. Bell, bill, bell. Like, view, <laughs> subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Help us build our channel. And uh, we will see you, actually. And next time. Next time, which is just like a few hours away. Because our next video is, we've had an interesting year, weird year, and we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned for that.